all right so let's move on let's add payment with paypal option pay with paypal and here we can add new item to cart we can proceed to checkout so in this checkout form we'll add a payment option here so that you can user can select uh, in which payment option to choose so let's go to checkout.blit checkout file and this is the form and the form below here will add for now let's add payment and here we'll add new checkbox field or we can create uh, let's create radio field so option number one will be cash on delivery let's see how it looks yeah, cash on delivery and similarly let's create another input field all right so we have created two checkbox one for cash on delivery and another for paypal okay so value will be cash on delivery for this and paypal for this so if user check this this value will go okay so whenever user submits we will let's keep a margin top so that button just push down yeah so whenever user hits place order it will send request to this order store let's go to order controller and in store method we'll see if payment method is present so let's make this payment method required as well and after order created so at this point at this point order is created so here we'll process the payment option so if uh, we will not empty cart just yet we'll first we'll first check if payment method is paypal then we'll redirect to paypal so we'll check if request payment method calls to paypal then here we'll redirect to paypal so first we need to create a route to handle the payment paypal payment process so for that i'll just put this put here comment redirect to paypal so let's go to web.php we'll need some routes so one for paypal checkout and another for paypal success so we'll create this pay, paypal controller and get express checkout and this success two methods so let's create that controller first so php artisan make controller paypal controller so let's create uh, this route first so this will uh, redirect user to paypal and so uh, paypal option payment form and all stuff so let's first create this get express checkout method so here to handle the paypal option we will need we'll use this package so to handle laravel paypal laravel paypal payment this package makes is makes it quite easy so we'll install this package just run composer require paypal this into terminal enter so I've already installed it wait for it to finish and then go to PayPal controller and that pack package gives us a nice API to call the PayPal APIs all right so once the package is installed we'll write some we'll initialize some object in this method so this method will show the pop-up where you can enter the checkout information sorry payment information so first I'll create a pro fighter. I'll initialize new object. This will be the express checkout. So this method will get from the package itself that we just installed. We'll import that class from the package. And now we'll call set express checkout method, which will first parameter it accepts the data of checkout data which contains the cart items. 
so for now this checkout data will initialize it with empty array and then we'll put all cart items into this checkout data method so the structure of checkout data will be like this this will be the array and we'll have items which contains the items similarly the return url so after checkout is success it will return to this url which will be our route which we defined in web.php which will be this success route that will be i'll give it name paypal success so after paypal processes all payment it will redirect to this url which we have to specify in paypal.success similarly we need to generate invoice id for now we will generate some unique unique id with this unique id method it will generate some unique id similarly invoice description so i'll put random description for now and similarly we need to provide the cancel url as well so in in case of in case of uh, error which will redirect to the cancel url let's create a cancel url check out cancel Let's quickly create that cancel method. I'll just type up. We also need to provide the total amount that we are gonna be charging, which we get from cart. total this will give us the total amount make sure to import the cart so instead of hard coding that will make a variable cart items and then cart items this will be the cart items all right so this is these these cart items let's make them dynamic these will come from the cart session itself so in session let's check what kind of data we have stored so cart controller in card controller while adding we have done quantity we should have done qty because paypal is using qty so we need to uh, format that for paypal the way we do that is using array map function so let me keep duplicate it and keep that for your reference so that you can see so we'll follow, we'll make the array just like this by using the array map function so array map and from cart the cart variable we can call get content let me first show you what content we'll get and hit this route So we do not have to import that class. Instead, we need to use this 
so we need to log in first so right now we have no items on in here let's add some items proceed to checkout I think we can call to array method on it to convert it to array there we go so that we can pass that on array map function all right so we'll use array map first convert it to array and then execute the callback so callback will pass each item and then we'll return name equals to item name price is fine we just need to alter quantity equals to quantity so this is the second parameter I guess yeah so the PSP array map is slightly different than JavaScript array map map so first will be the callback and then we have to pass the array which we are mapping so after doing that we will get exact same structure so that we can pass to this set express checkout method all right so now let's try dump these cart items and see what kind of data we got yeah so we got exact same structure which is perfect now we can get rid of these so we get cart items so at this point we should get some response let's tie dump what response we get so we get this response from paypal so ack is success so this is the way to identify whether the response is successful or not and it gave us the paypal link where we should redirect the user which gives us token and everything so doing this will generate a id which will be used to generate initiate the checkout flow so that we can charge the customer okay so after that we need to redirect user to this paypal link so after that is done we will redirect user to paypal link yeah so that's it so we are uh, right now just testing by manually hitting this route we'll redirect this route from the order controller after the order has been placed so for now let's test so it will take us to the checkout express checkout page here we log in and follow the rest of the process but uh, to reach there you need to first create the account account on paypal and also after installing this package after installing this package you need to put these credentials on your dot env file so just copy them and head to project and dot env file so just paste them here I've already paste, pasted them so while testing use the sandbox credential and when you are live use the live credentials and it will work just fine you don't need to change anything on code so these credentials you'll get from let me show you 
so after you create it uh, paypal account and then you go to developer just type developer paypal and it will take you to developer.paypal.com and here just log into your dashboard you just need to log in with your regular paypal account so after you after you logged in uh, just create new app just create app so give some app name and it will create a sandbox business business account for you so after that is created you should see in your sandbox account section you should see some accounts sorry this paypal will create create some default account for you like so one is business account another is personal account so you can create another or more accounts if you want wish so we'll need one business account for like web mall which is our website which uh, should be the business account and on the personal account which we uh, use as a customer so just to test purpose we'll use personal account to pay for the item and business account the amount that uh, person paid will go to the business account so for we'll use any of these business accounts so i have a couple of business account you might have only one uh, just go to the one business account and we'll use the credential of that for example this one so let's use of use this one so you might not have business pro it's same thing so here you'll get api credentials so just use these credentials username password and signature so use uh, your credentials these might not work i will reset them yeah so this is the username in your env file username and this will, this will be the password and this will be the secret just leave this api certificate blank okay so once that is set so these are for sandbox account yeah, after you copy it credential on your dot uh, file then you are good to go and we have just created the route that will take us to the paypal page and now we need to trigger this route which is this route sorry paypal dot check out this this route from our controller let's give this route name paypal dot check out and let's go to order controller and in store method We'll use that so from checkout page if user selected paypal and do place order then we'll take uh, we'll create the order that we do all these steps that we did on previous video we'll create order item and then if payment method is paypal then we'll return redirect user to the route paypal dot checkout this route and then that route will do all these processing so after payment is successful it will return with the necessary data uh, which will give us success response if payment is successful and we have to deal that on this success route we have to charge the customer in that route so first uh, let's test that Let's pull something. Let's do PayPal place order. It should take us to the PayPal page. Yeah. So here I will use this buyer account. You can use this buyer account, personal account. And this might be different for you. Just use that account. And if you don't know password, just go to view or edit and then here just change uh, password and enter any password that you want to put and then just save or edit so it's saying login i will log in so after you pay here it, it is displaying all the thing these are the order description which we just passed so after you user um, pay from here and continue and perform all steps it will take our user back to our application to this endpoint and 
in this endpoint we will charge the customer and those account those are all money will show up on our account so let's create this paypal.success route and in web.php we have defined that paypal.success route which is pointing to get express express checkout success let's define that get express checkout you can name anything and in this method first we will uh, initialize request we will capture all the request data in request variable so same thing first we will need the provider then we will get response we will call provider we will call this method get express so we'll get the express checkout details and this detail expects the token that we need to pass so that token we will get from request so paypal will send all data in request and we should get all those data like token equals to similarly we'll get the pair id id of the pair like so and when we pass this token it will give, give us all the checkout related detail and we'll check if the payment if everything went right so we we'll check like this if uh we'll check if in this array we got this ack equals to success or success with warning then we we consider this as successful response and in here we'll we'll actually do the express checkout actually we'll perform the transaction on paypal so in provider we'll call do expect express checkout payment and then we'll supply the cart items or we'll supply the checkout data and token and then pair id So this checkout data is same as this checkout data. So why not just extract this into a separate method? Checkout data equals to this checkout data method, which will give us all checkout data. Let's create that method here. That will be the private and we'll put everything there and return this checkout data so same checkout data now we can use here checkout data and then pass that data here so after everything is done we will for now let's tight up and say payment successful so we should uh, redirect user to some thank you page from here now for now that's fine and yeah so now let's we should test it so it should uh, charge the customer so here from balance continue continue yeah so it's saying payment successful now let's check uh, we should so in order to check uh, we need to log in with the same account business account this time not personal account so let's log in so we should log into this sandbox.paypal.com sandbox.paypal.com and log in with the business account so in my case this is the business account and now log in we should see that recent payment in our dashboard yeah so here we go from test buyer we just received this four thousand dollar yeah so our uh, our flow is working so instead of just dumping we can create a thank you page and just to show the thank you message here with some nice looking page all right so this is the uh, flow for uh, payment with checkout it's quite easy 
let me quickly recap that for you all right so in checkout page we added two uh, radio button cash on delivery and paypal so if user selects paypal and do place order we that will hit to order controller and in order controller we are creating order like so and after order has been created uh, if payment method is paypal we are redirecting user to this paypal dot checkout page so that page we have defined the route we have defined on web.php this one which is taking us to paypal controller get express checkout and in paypal controller get express checkout method we are doing let's go to checkout so this is the method here first off we are constructing the checkout data which contains all the cart items total price invoice id invoice description and total item total amount and that checkout data we are passing to set express checkout method which we use from the our package for these are the easy method that package provides that's why we installed this package in order to make use of these methods so after we install this package we need to put these credentials so for to getting to get those credentials we created paypal account and in developer.paypal we created our app and in app we created these two it will create by default these two account business account and uh, personal account we use the credential of business account into our dot env file like so and with that all setup method done it will take us to the paypal checkout page and from that checkout page after the successful response it will redirect us to the success page we're getting all token and pair id and then we are charging the customer with amount all right so this is about payment with paypal hope you liked it uh, we'll i'll see you on next video bye